What's going on guys and gals, Dragon to get back again with our Duel Links content video and today we're jumping in a pretty interesting deck and we're gonna be using Sound Swordsman again. Sound Swordsman. Alright, thank a lot on the channel. We are back to leave him again. And yeah, I'm really excited. I I did mention I actually mentioned in Mano Wato uh, done um video. Um that I was gonna use this guy again a few times that I've seen people rocking sound swords with rebirth and parsha uh, and using knowing boy parsha combine that into a deck with light and dark this kind of type of thing I've seen it a few times over on the gates at the links .com website and I decided I tried out for myself today and that's basically it. that's basically what we're gonna be doing today uh, yeah, so that's what we're gonna be doing uh, I'm really excited. So, for the deck that we are using, one Sound Swordsman level, three Sound Swordsman, three Destiny Hero Deciders, two Junk Justice Bringer, uh, two Just la la, Destiny Hero Chill Dark, Sound Sword Slashes, one Dark Bribe, one Debunk, uh, three Rebirth of Parshats, and Ultimate Providence. And for the extra deck, obviously three Parshats. This is a pretty straightforward deck. It's kind of like a lockdown deck, not a lockdown deck, but it's kind of like a shutdown deck, I guess. Keeping keeping your opponent, um, you know, kind of keep you know stopping your opponent's back row, you know, monster effect or special summon, justice bringer, pretty straightforward. Similar to all the other stuff that we have used before on the channel, um, but aside for this deck, I do really enjoy some probably one of my favorite cards in the game. Uh, I don't think he's that bad. He's can be frustrating to fight sometimes. I don't think he's that bad and. He's one of my favorite cards, definitely in the game. We're bringing them back again. So yeah, I hope you guys are get into this. It's pretty much a short and sweet intro. Nothing crazy to go. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and jump in. Yeah, boys, we're gonna go ahead and with our first duel and see if we can um, bang this right out of the park. Yeah, get some stuff going. This should be this should be pretty fun. I can imagine I can see myself having some deck. Um, always do have fun with light and dark heroes. Like every time we use them on the channel, it's kind of it's pretty fun. Um, always have a great laugh with it. Okay, so normally this would actually be a pretty like that would be pretty kind of if a pretty iffy hand like be kind of like eh that could break city, but we have have um. We have ourselves a light and dark. That's probably one of the best skills. We're gonna go for this right away for various reasons. Um, we're gonna do that. We're gonna set. We're gonna set. We're gonna parse up. We're also gonna set off that. We're gonna set our counter trap in case we do draw the counter trap next for that, which is pretty good. Let's see if let's see what he's running. So we're gonna go to fifteen hundred, um, which is really nice. We have. We have this as well, which is gonna be cool. So we can't use any space sensor. Right so we got Dark Magician. It's kinda cool. Um so let's draw a counter trap. If we draw a counter super happy. Attack. Oh no. Okay. Won't be able to do anything right now. Faith probably. Won't be able to or Dark Magic Curtain. Dark Magic No. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Dark Magic Bell's not a problem. Uh we're still on swordsman. If he has the second one though, we're kinda screwed. He has the Dark Magic Curtain. She didn't think he can use it this turn. He summoned it. Um, okay, watch him have a second one. This will be fine. Do I want to let him destroy me? I kinda wanted to let him destroy Um, I kinda want to. You know what? I want to. I want to. I want to. Let him destroy me. Because I just I want to. Big boy, I want to have, have power. I want to have power. That kind of have power over Dark Magician, like, activate this will, like, kick in the Dark Magician power. Good find Dark Magician, I'm going to build Dark. Um, again, if it's Treacherous Chapel, or Sun Sword Slash is really common to pick up the slack on. Um, so we're going to swing in with Sun Swords on level 7, and we're going to see if what this is. Um, 
it as a treacherous or dimensional prism, which we don't have to worry about. Okay, let's see. Let's see if this is Dragon Mirror Force Dark Attack. Or Dark Magic, yeah. Dark Magic Attack. Is a. Uh, oh no, this, that means he can activate. Um, Dark Magic Attack actually can activate. Didn't draw a counter drop, unfortunately. Um, I think we're fine with though, I think. The bag? Um, honestly. Let's solve this one. Just adjusting my mic. I think we still have this one in the bag. I don't think we have much of an issue for it. Um, he's thinking though. Uh, we will have the Sun Sword Slash, but you will not have enough life points to get over me. my Sun Sword number 7. That's going to be. Um, I'm a magician. Never mind. I'm, I'm silly. I'm silly. Now you get all specs on the field. get all specs on the field. Um, no, I'm silly. I'm um, so silly. So he can't target me. He can't do anything. He, but this can't be negated, so this can be used. Uh, this is just good, which is, which is great. Um, we're risk taking a hit here. Risk taking a big hit here. Um, whatever he's got. Like, Magicalized Fusion doesn't really matter either. Um, like, if we worry about the Quintet Magician, it doesn't matter. So, he could activate you know, his Magician that we can negate this, but he can't do that. He can't stop it. Um, so, he can't stop it. He's gonna crash with me. Okay. So, I think we can just swing in. This, this card's effect cannot be negated. So, I'm gonna swing in. I'm gonna activate this buff him and then. Swing in and win, um, pretty darn easily. Um, so we're gonna do that here. We're gonna go. We're gonna swing in. Um, let me activate it, please. You get damage that buff. And boom, and it's exactly eighteen hundred luck points to beat him. Which is great. Um, so yeah, still dark condition back there to f uh, start things off. Um, pretty neato. So that's our first little win there. First little nice and ch cheeky win. Um, yeah, so cool. Now let's just take a look at his deck real quick before the second one. Okay, so it's not just during the damage step, okay. Or during the, the... Or except during the damage step. Okay, so that's pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and jump in with the second one. Okay, let's go in the second one. So I know this is a pretty simple and straightforward deck and stuff that you've definitely probably seen before, but I did want to cover it, and I do, do, see, want to enjoy myself today, so I can't uh, do something that I know I will enjoy. I know that I will enjoy using. And this is definitely going to be them decks. Have a U Bell though. That's less proportionate for various reasons. Um, if we have options against Rebe Rebel, <laughs> U Bell, but it's tough. I don't know what we do. Um, but we have good fodder for Reaper the Parsha, which is gonna be. So the plan is to really try and negate U Bell as much as we possibly can. Um, like. We can top there incarnate, but then we have to stop Ultimate Nightmare, so that's a problem. Where it kind of comes tricky for us. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, ending your turn. That's good. And that's real good. <laughs> We're gonna drop deep. Just actually go over. So here, actually, that's really good. So what we do is we set Reaper the Parsha and we set Debunk, and then we summon, summon the Cider. That's actually debunk is gonna be really nice if it is Ubel. It might not even be Ubel. This is probably uh Dragon Mirror Force. Okay, idea. It's fine. It's fine. It's all good. Um uh, Yeah, it's all good. That's not too bad. So yeah. 
Like I said though before, I did mention this doing this deck in my mono. Uh, yeah, Mitsu Bell. Uh, my own mono stun video, which I did mention that I wanted to cover this, and um, I'm excited to cover it here. Do I want to stop that, or do I care? No, I keep it. I keep it. I wait. I wait. Wait it out. I wait it out. Um, I stopped the f field spell. Not the field spell. The maybe the field spell. Uh, I stopped. The uh, I'm trying to think what I stop here. You know what? Uh, I have debunk actually. I'm gonna keep it. We have debunk when a monster effect is activated in the end of the graveyard. You know, when it, i.e., you know, that. It's going to set. Uh, Alton Providence. Do I ever, though? The question is, though, do I buff? Do I buff? Or do I go for Sun Swordsman? <laughs> Uh, I think I do. I go for Sun Swordsman. Go for Sun Swordsman. Uh, do we set anything? Ultimate Providence? Nah, we keep what we have. Then we swing him. So Sphere Creepo's on the board, which we've noticed. I see why you did that. I actually see why you did that, and that's I applaud you for doing that because that's good because that means it gets rid of your or destroying this. And now we will debunk. Now we will debunk. <laughs> and it banishes it too. Great, obviously, but but um yeah. Okay, so I think we're good. I think we're good to win. Uh, yeah, I think so. Do this. Once he goes, once I destroy this and he goes to activate, actually this will probably, this will be his ultimate downfall, because if he activates that and goes to destroy something, we can take the win. Pretty sure we just win. Let's see. We don't win because we still have another turn. Oh, it's for Karibo though. What am I doing? What am I do- oh my- God, what am I doing? I'm not paying attention, dude. I'm sorry, people. So sorry. Why the hell? I'm sorry. <sighs> why did I do that? I don't know why I did that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know why I did that. I still win. I'm sorry. I don't know why I thought he had less life points than I did. And I'm tired. I need bed. I need sleep. <laughs> why are you activate just for a Karibo? I just think it's what she has. I'm out of traps though. I'm out of counter traps. Well, I'm out of counter traps. This isn't good. Um, good. You have Divine Rat though, so that's kind of nice. Um, but yeah. Uh, okay. The Sphere Kuribo is going to come in clutch right now, yeah. It's okay. And boom. I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm really sorry about that stupid dumb attack. I don't know why I did it. I just thought, you know, swing in. I got, I got enough attack points, right? Don't I? Right, right, right. <laughs> uh, I'm apolog I apologize about that, though. I do. Sorry. Of course, we're going to jump in with our third and potentially final duel, depending on how long this goes and uh, because I just want to get up a probably shorter bit for today guys it's just I didn't get a bit up um so far this week and I, it's getting but I am recording this quite late in the night and I need to I'm tired <laughs> but I still want to get something for you guys and um, this isn't like a quick last minute like oh give me something so I can for the sake of uploading I actually didn't really want to use okay so here's justice prayer um which could be kind of nice Excuse me, no, no, um, crap. Shy was going second, <laughs> um, or first. 
this is where going first would have been nice. Um, okay. Changer. And let's see. Setting a card. Ultimately, don't even really want to set Dark Pride. Um, and just keep it for Rebirth of Parsha. Destiny or Decider. So here's what we do, actually. We're going to go that. We're not going to sound sort of. We're just going to go that. Or are we? Because we, we could do it. Could do it and it could work. Um, can't target me right now. What? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Screw it. Let's just go for it. Honestly. Um. I have options. I do have options. But, okay. Plus 2700 beater, 2800 beater that he is. But he's gonna be. He's gonna have. Beat down, isn't he? Uh, maybe that wasn't the right play. Uh, maybe it wasn't. I don't know. Uh, absolutely was not the right play. Okay. This bringer, you're gonna go, okay, buddy. I think that wise, I don't know. Get back in the deck. Are we gonna special summon a monster? Or might not be a good idea. Um, I don't know. Particularization, God or Silent Swordsman, bro. Okay, thank God for Silent Swordsman. Um, yeah. Guns a thing. Um, and as a thing. Ow. Okay. Guns a thing. Uh, science sword. Oh, crap. Actually, no, it's fine. Science sword slash. It's gonna be nice. Although, if I does get a second one, I'm gonna have. Seven. We're gonna go to 28. This is 28. Um. Got 25. I think you'll go. You think you'll try and attack me? Um. Do uh, you think you'll try and attack me? Like, I don't know if he will. Like, if he. That. Because he knows that level 7 will come on the board. And I don't know if he wants that or not. Pen negating all attacks. Okay. Wow. <laughs> He's gonna grab the surrender and leave. What the hell? Come on now. <laughs> wow. He's gonna just gonna he's just gonna scoop? That's that's kinda funny. <laughs> um this alright, like I I guess, I mean Um <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, okay, okay, fine, that's okay. Yeah, I think we'll go call things there though. So that was a I did not expect him to scoop. I feel like he could have Probably won that um, pretty easy. Like he could have beat on me so quick. I think. I think he was too hasty to um, too hasty to surrender there, but that's fine. So we're gonna end things there, guys. On that um, kind of crazy note. Um, but yeah, I had fun today. This was a good deck. I really enjoyed using it. It's a deck that I do definitely, maybe not bring back to the channel at some point. We could, but definitely a deck that I want to in my spare time not my spare time per se but use like for a cup or something maybe. yeah so i'm gonna end things there guys hope you guys enjoyed the video hit that like button if you enjoyed hit the subscribe button on my twitter that is down below in the description catch you guys in the next peace